the security of billionaires. As the famed notorious B.I.G. once brilliantly said, more money, more problems. Those words are as true today as they've ever been. Simply put, the more you have, the more you have to lose. These problems range from theft and burglary to the more extreme problems such as kidnapping and murder. Billionaires around the globe recognize this and they heed Biggie's warning. And most of them do everything they can to keep both themselves and their assets safe from those who wish to steal or harm. From bulletproof Maybachs and Bentleys to panic rooms, whether it be bodyguards or high-tech security systems, no price tag is too high when it comes to security for the hyper-wealthy. In this video, you'll see the links at which billionaires will go to ensure the protection of their extravagant livelihood. Let's start with the physical protection. The Bodyguard. The 6'5", 310-pound suit and earpiece that stands near with crossed arms, surveying the area around their employer. Oftentimes, these bodyguards can't be missed. It's a bit discouraging when you see two men the size of defensive linemen standing in between you and the wallet you're trying to steal. Billionaires might have two or three of these individuals with them at all times, or perhaps an entire team of bodyguards with their own convoy of vehicles. If this physical security is considered needed 24-7, 365 days a year, these guards would likely be paid a salary in the six figures. If these services are only needed on special occasions, then they would likely be paid by the day. A thousand dollars a day is a realistic daily payment for this line of work. Either way, by the day or via salary, you can imagine the hefty price it takes to keep this protection around. But not all of the mega-rich want to be seen with such a brute entourage of steel-faced, soulless sunglass wearers. Recently, there has been a surge of female bodyguards. Highly trained women that will always be close by but are not so obvious. Male or female, undercover guards can pose as nannies or personal assistants while keeping their true value under the radar. With thousands of dollars spent of bodyguards, this small but important area of security can be a pricey one. But as usual, the buck does not stop there. Putting so much trust in these individuals is not something most of the mega-rich would consider wise. After all, these billionaires didn't become the most prominent members of society by blindly trusting everyone around them. As paranoid as it may seem, surveillance companies are often hired to make sure these bodyguards are doing their jobs and have the right intentions. If one guard tends to fall asleep on the job, or if another guard has been caught in contact with some shady individuals, this surveillance will weed them out. Surveillance is another key component of security of the mega-rich. So much information can be attained about an individual with just a few days of surveillance. And it isn't just the bodyguards that can get spied on. A billionaire might pay for surveillance of a nanny, or a girlfriend or boyfriend, maybe even a husband or wife. There doesn't seem to be any relationship that's immune to suspicion when concerned the rich. Some billionaires even hire surveillance agencies to watch their own children to see if there are any friends that are trying to take advantage of their well-off peer. If any relationship of someone of this higher end of society is close to being free of suspicion, it would be the childhood friend that was there before the money came in. But even these bonds can be severed. For reference on the cost of surveillance, an average private investigator gets paid about $80 an hour. When considering the quality of these agencies providing these services, it's more likely in the hundreds of dollars an hour. And this surveillance is often an indefinite service rather than a one-time deal. Billionaires spend millions on the most sophisticated technology security systems for their homes, and their second homes, and their beach house, and their lake house and their getaway cabin in the mountains, and uh, you get the point. Some of the most pricey and popular security systems are in the category of biometric access control systems. These systems utilize the biological features that can't be copied or impersonated. We've all seen the eye reader that scans your pupil before unlocking the safe in hundreds of movies. But the truth is, this technology exists, and the rich spend thousands to utilize these devices. Other devices can scan the entire face or just a finger. The fingerprint scanner is one biometric control system that is going out of style. The thing about your fingerprint is that it's still there in the event that your finger is severed. So, to keep these fingers attached, 
Devices that detect the veins in the fingers rather than the fingerprint were created. So, if anyone were to cut off the hand or finger and try and access the security system, they couldn't. This may sound rather extreme, but it's a realistic consideration that many of the hyper-rich have to pay attention to. Unless anyone watching frequents a table saw, the threat of losing a finger doesn't come up much in one's life. But it gets even more extreme. Bullet and bomb-proof safety bunkers cost millions and exist below homes where no one can see or even know of their existence. These bunkers could be either a fortified core to the house hidden behind two-way mirrors, or an NCB bunker which stands for Nuclear Chemical Biological. The NCB simply protects you from everything short of an asteroid hitting the Earth. They can be fitted with biological wash showers that can cleanse chemical attacks. The bunkers are decked with imperishable foods and any facilities you can imagine that would be needed in the event of an NCB-related disaster. The construction of these bunkers can come after the house is already built, but the more elaborate and costly bunkers are considered in the plans prior to the construction of the home. These bunkers are designed by specialized construction companies that are as discreet as they are expensive. These bunkers alone cost millions, on top of a home that probably costs twice as much. Secret passageways within the mansions either leading to the bunkers or simply providing an escape from any threat that might have broken into the house are also common. These passages cost thousands, and the creation of these passages is a fairly involved process, with a lot of design know-how required of the builders. In order to keep the passageway looking secret, it needs to be a seamless job. Nothing can look out of place or it defeats the purpose of having a secret or hidden passageway installed. These hidden passages are yet another feature that you might assume is just something seen in movies, but trust me, they are real and prevalent. Next time you find yourself in a mansion, try taking books from a shelf or pull some candles. And who knows, maybe some walls will start to move. A company called SAFE, which stands for Strategically Armored and Fortified Environment, offers a rather extreme defense against intruders. So extreme that it has been outlawed in the United States, but is still used by many international individuals of high importance. SAFE has a plethora of practical and thorough security measures, but one that caught my eye is rather alarming. SAFE can set up a wall feature that blends in seamlessly with the design of the home. Hidden are 15 shotgun shells at the ready for any unlucky intruder that picked the wrong house. The device activates after three or four authentications from the owner of the home who would likely be operating the deadly device from a panic room or safety bunker. While most of the safe security systems aren't so lethal, all of them can be controlled from anywhere. That includes your phone, your Lambo, or from across the world. For a couple grand, you can purchase a similar American-approved version of this device called the Burglar Blaster. Rather than the shotgun shells, this product shoots out pepper spray. To each his own, I guess you could say. Security systems on yachts cost upwards of a half a million, but are a necessity to fend off modern pirates. Obviously, pirates have evolved a lot since the days of parrots and eye patches, but a mega yacht is about as close as you can get to a treasure chest. Isolated in the open sea, a floating vessel of wealth like a yacht is an easy target. That's why so much money is thrown into keeping this floating asset safe. The world's richest people are spending millions arming their super yachts with military-style technology and trained personnel to fight off potential attackers. The threat of these pirates have led many owners to equip their vessels with the latest James Bond-like technology. Hidden chambers, escape pods, tracking devices, and ex-marines employed as security guards have all risen in popularity in recent years. And Michael Howorth, editor for Super Yacht World magazine, explains that it will only continue to rise. It is only a matter of time before pirates move from cargo ships to attacking super yachts cruising near Somalia he told CNN. Many pirates do not yet appreciate the importance and potential value of these yachts. And I'm sure the pirates will catch on quickly. And if they do because they saw this video, then uh, that's my bad. And if millions are spent in security by water, then how much more is spent in the air? That's right, millions are spent on the protection of private jets. And the theme of military-grade fortifications continues as anti-missile defense systems are becoming standard for billionaires with personal aircraft. To put it plainly, the more assets a billionaire has, the more money it takes to keep all of it safe. 
The cost of security for a billionaire is directly proportional to how much stuff they have. And that sum of money is often multiplied by how paranoid the said billionaire is. So, if you had the money to come up with your own millionaire defense system, what would you choose? As always, I'm Mr. Luxury, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Pip pip de doodly doo.